Hello, I'm Dr. Terry Simpson. Anytime you start talking about plant-based diets, people are going to start referring you to some studies and some talks by Caldwell Esselton, who is a surgeon out of Cleveland Clinic, retired, who got interested in preventive medicine, as all of us do. He came to dramatic conclusions which were not based fully in evidence and did his own study, which had a lot of poor design and flaws in it. Caldwell Esselton missed several points. Number one, when you go to other countries and say they don't have cancer of this or cancer of that, you better make sure that they have an adequate reporting mechanism of that cancer and make sure that the people live long enough to get that cancer. Most of the countries that he said they don't get prostate cancer in Africa, well, they don't live long enough, the men don't, to get prostate cancer. When you say that they don't get heart disease in China, well, it's underreported and the time period you looked was during the Cultural Revolution when everybody was dying of starvation and starvation-related diseases. When you do your own study and look at coronary angiograms that are not significant coronary lesions to require intervention, and then you talk about patients that get coronary events and use that as a metric, you better understand this. Coronary events have everything to do with platelet plugs, nothing to do with prevention of atherosclerosis, and nothing to do with your level of cholesterol. So, you'll hear the name called Will Esselton. He was a surgeon. He made some fundamental mistakes, as happens with people when they become blinded by their own theory and then seek confirmation bias of it. So, bottom line, here are the lifestyle things that we know from many people, from many studies that work if you have heart disease and to prevent heart disease. Number one, exercise a little. We don't know how much. We know 30 minutes a day is a good number. And by that, we could mean gentle walking. People have wide range of opinions about this, but we all know that exercise is better than no exercise. Number two, if you smoke, quit. Smoking cigarettes was the leading cause and is still the leading cause of cardiovascular disease in this country, even though we've cut it down from two-thirds of the population smoking to one-third. Number two, three, lose some weight. We know that weight loss is effective at helping you. It reduces the stress on the heart. You probably will be eating a better diet, at least hopefully, and if you lose weight, do it by lifestyle changes, eating healthier. Don't do it by massive weight losses by some fraudulent things like HCG. Those are the things that work. Things that don't work, you don't need an obscure diet that nobody can follow. It's tasteless. There's no evidence it works, no long-term evidence it works, and the evidence that used to show you it works is bunk. I'm Dr. Terry Simpson. I'm going to go take a walk. Good day.